What's happening, baby? A lot is happening, Foxy. Now, I wasn't able to get an exact location, but I did learn that Dr. Evil has moved to a new lair outside of Tokyo, Japan. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency has set his sights on Fukushima. He says inspectors will visit the crippled nuclear plant to investigate a leak of radioactive water. IAEA chief Yukia Amano was speaking at a board meeting in Vienna. One day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. The leak of contaminated water at Fukushima Daiichi is a matter of high priority that needs to be addressed urgently. The agency's experts visited in April to check up on the plant's decommissioning. Amano said they recommended effective measures for the long-term management of liquid waste. Japanese leaders have committed $470 million to the toxic water leak. They plan to isolate the plant from groundwater with a wall of frozen soil underground. The ice wall, the whole thing, is just, it's all right out of the playbook. It's a scam, and it's not going to work. The announcement by the Japanese government of a basic policy for addressing this issue is an important step forward. Japan's UN ambassador Toshiro Ozawa spoke to the IAEA board. He said Japan will keep them updated and cooperate fully. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
People in Japan are expecting the Olympic Games to provide an economic boost. NHK World's Kyoko Fujita reports. The market in Tokyo start the week with strong gains following Japan's win. Investors here in Tokyo's financial district are celebrating successful bid. They hope the country's upbeat mode will help lift share prices. I expect it to add to economics. We're hoping that heading into 2020, the Olympics will have a positive effect on the economy. After Prime Minister Shinzo Abe took office late last year, Tokyo stocks started to rebound, hitting the 15,000 level. But share prices dropped in May over concerns of a possible wind-down of U.S. monetary easing. Stocks have since been sluggish and traded in relatively low volumes. Investors believe the Olympics will help. I predict share prices will pick up, as the successful Olympic bid will attract foreign investors. That will help boost the already recovering earnings of Japanese businesses. Businesses are acting. Some have launched Olympic sales. This one sells cakes decorated with swimmers and judo athletes. Our expectations are high. I think people will be more inclined to shop. Bid committee officials in Tokyo estimate that the service, construction and other industries will see around $30 billion worth of economic benefits through 2020. They also project more than 150,000 new jobs nationwide. Roads, railway and other transportation infrastructure, primarily access to competition venues, are also expected to be upgraded. But some analysts have expressed concern about how much the eventual costs may be. Tourism is a part of the government's growth strategy. It plans to attract around 20 million foreign visitors a year with promotions based around the Olympics. The lodging sector has also began changes. I'm sure an increase in foreign guests will be a big opportunity for our business. The Olympics will likely boost the economic activity in both the public and private sectors. But the question is whether Prime Minister Abe will be able to use the world's biggest sporting event to revive the economy and manage the country's finances at the same time. And Prime Minister Abe will finally make that long-awaited decision on Japan's consumption tax hike on October 1st. And this is according to Economic Revitalization Minister Akira Amadi. But Amadi does caution that Abe must be careful to avoid damaging the economy. If Prime Minister Abe decides to raise the tax rate, an economy-boosting package will have to be announced at the same time. Amari also said the scale and content of the package will determine whether the country can climb out of its deflationary spiral.